episode while taking you into a very interesting story. Ah, the masters, the Barney Rubble and the Cunstubble of the 90s are master, masterful players, if I do say so. If I do say so myself. So, Dick Fish. Let's talk about Dick Fish. A very serious, this is a very serious subject. A very serious Dick Fish, Cockfish. Cock, cock and balls fish, 10 inch phallic dish, fish dish, fish dicks floating up in California. Actually, not floating up, but surfacing from beneath the sand. True story, man. Not going to believe this shit. So let's have a look. Thousands of strange penis fish wash ashore on California Beach. Um, they didn't really wash ashore, as we're going to find out. It's actually misleading. They're actually already there, they're under your feet. The Cock and balls are under your feet, man. So let's see. Morning visitors of Drake, Drake's Beach in North Carolina last week witnessed thousands of strange 10-inch phallic fish washed up on the shore. The strange creatures are known as uh, fat innkeeper worms. Fat innkeeper worms. And they have been spotted on other nearby beaches in California in the past. They usually wash up on beaches after storms, similar to the storm seen around Drake Beach last week. That's incorrect. They're not washing up. They're actually, uh, the, they're actually under the sand a couple of feet, and then a storm comes in and washes away the sand and exposes the fish. That's how I understand it. Scientists call this creature Eurythrus kupupapa. <laughs> Eurachus, Eurachus caupo, Eurachus caupo, and it is classified as a type of spoon worm. So it's a worm, and it really does look like that. I mean, it looks, you could call that a dick, right? It's fucking a 10 inch dick. It's only got one ball, though. Right? It's got one ball, it's got some, looks like a, you know, like a, like a dick. Fucking, it's a dick. It is definitely a dick. So scientists call it euthero and is classified as a worm. The picture below was taken on a different occasion earlier this year when fat inner innkeepers washed up on the Badoga, Badoga Bay back in June. This photo illustrates why the fat inner, inner keeper is sometimes usually known as a penis fish. So how many are there? Look at this. Look at this shit. Look how many dicks in one... Look how many of these dicks showed up. Right? They're on the beach, man. At Drake's, at Drake's beach last week, thousands of these things washed up on the beach, making it entirely impossible to walk the beach without stepping on them. The following page... Okay, so, so there's a picture. The, bug, the birds seem to be having fun. Everybody seems to be enjoying a worm or two. They seem to be edible, at least for the worms, the seagulls. Not the worms, but the seagulls. I'm sure bugs are having a good time. The flies are having a good time. What about big fish, man? Fish. Uh, uh, shock. Thousands of these uh, marine worms called inner keeper worms or penis fish were found on Drake Beach last week. These phallic organisms are quite commonly along the west coast of North America. But they, they spend their whole life in U-shaped burrows under the sand. So they're not washing in from, they're worms, they're sandworms, they're not fish. That's just a correction. So we know where, I, you know, got to get, sort out your dick, man. Just know, what, know, know your dicks, right? Separate your dicks. Are they water dicks? Are they swimming, fishing? Because that would be funny, man, if they swam. They don't seem to look like fish. They're worms, man. They're sandworms. So few beach goers, so they're under the sand. Few beach goers are aware of their existence. A recent storm in North Carolina brought strong waves that washed away several feet of sand from the intertidal zone, leaving all of these fat inner keeper worms exposed on the surface. Next time go to the beach, just think about the hundreds, hundreds, thousands of 10-inch pink sausages wiggling just around, wiggling around just a few feet under the sand. <laughs> That is crazy, man. That is some crazy shit. There's one other one. Oh, so they, they seem to be eating them. What's, what's, what's the worst thing you could have eaten? So this appears to be actual eating. I mean, some of these Asian cultures will eat fucking anything, man. I remember when I go to Thailand, right, they have the bugs, bugs on the street, street food. You're walking, you can get a, you know, you buy some street food, you get sticky rice and a piece of chicken. 
I ate meat at the time on the last time I was there. Uh, you, 2010. So you, you, um, 2007. It's been a while. Uh, it's been a while. I haven't been there in a long time. But uh, you walk on the uh, you walk on on the street, and they actually have bug stands where that's all they sell is bugs. They have maggots, cockroaches, worms, all kinds of fucking. You know, they're they're not alive. They're they're uh, baked. They're um, and uh, man, I, I I some I remember sitting in a bar once, and this chick put this fucking uh, it was a grasshopper. She was sitting there eating eating a bag of grasshoppers, and she put. She 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 garnished my um, drink with a grasshopper. And she says, "Try try one." Try. I was like, "No, I don't want to try no one fucking bug. I'm not eating a bug. I'm not eating a bug unless I have to eat the bug." But I drank my drink with the caterpillar, with the uh, with the grasshopper, grasshopper. So so they are uh, they are edible. So uh, what else? What else? Of course, the strange phallic appearance of the fat inner worm seems to attract far more attention than. Uh, many other sea creatures that wash up on shore. It's not washing up. They just told you that it's, it's already there. Researchers estimate that an individual fat inner keeper can live up to 25 years if they manage to avoid predators. Wow. As species, fossil evidence shows that these creatures may have been around for 300 million years. Oh, shit, man. That's a lot of shit, man. That's some, that's some shit, man. You know, so next time you go to the beach and you think the gr- the ground is moving a little bit, you ever see you feel like you're sitting on the beach and you feel like the the, the sand shifted a little bit? That's what it is. It's fucking dicks on the. It's these dicks on the dicks, man. A bunch of dicks on the beach. Had to hide. <laughs> Singing a mission.